Straight up disclaimer, I am not a guitar tutor online. Um, this isn't what I do. Um, I post cover videos and music content. But the reason for this video today is that I put up a cover of this song, which you can check out there, um, uh, which is called Halloween by Novo Amor. And loads of people wanted to know what uh, tuning I was playing in and what the chords are. So I'm just doing a quick um, demonstration of what I'm playing and I hope it can help you work out exactly what's going on. I hope you enjoy it. And if so, please like and subscribe. Cheers. So to start with the tuning, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not your standard tuning, it's also a bit weird, so it's kind of open D and kind of not, so it's D-A-D-A-D-D, -D -D, dad, ad, um, and then obviously I've got capo on too. To play in the tuning of the original song, it's capo 3, but there's a video, a live video, which I kind of have learned from, um, of Novo Amor playing this live and he has capo on too, so if you want to play along with that one, I'll put the link below. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it and kind of show you what I'm doing. So just to recap, it's D-A-D-A-D-D. -D -D. It's kind of got that... That skinny love kind of, the last two strings are, or the first two strings are um, tuned to the same, which in this instance is D. So capo 2, and let's get started. So that's the verse, oh, the, the opening and the uh, most of the verse. It's kind of got this chugging thing going on the whole way through and it's kind of up to your personal playing style if you want to go along with that. You can leave some of them open, um, just at different parts of the song, that's what I tend to do. Um, but the chords that are actually being played there, um, so if you go to the second fret, for the purposes of this video, I know I'm on capo too, but the first fret will be um, the one after the capo. So if you go to the second fret with your first finger on the fifth string, and then you can either play the next um, on the fifth fret with your pinky finger on the sixth string of the fifth fret. You can play it like that. I prefer to play it with my third finger. Um, I know it's not technically right, but it's just it's more convenient for me, so you can decide. So this is the shape that you'll be playing in. I've just re restringed my guitar, so ignore um, some odd tuning. Um, and then, so if you just want to uh, try that out on the chugging. I'm doing a bit of a muted thing um, as well, uh, if you want to try that out. And then the second uh, shape that you're going to move to is you're going to take your second finger, put it on the fifth fret on the fifth string, take your first finger to the fourth fret on the fourth string, so it'll look like this. So the first two chords are... And that's how long you stay on it, so it's... I'll just sing along so you kind of know where I am. All the good words have left my mouth. So it's... And then you move on to the third shape, which is... If you go to the seventh fret and uh, take your second and third finger, on the se both on the seventh fret, and put your second finger on the seventh fret on the sixth string, and your third finger on the seventh fret on the fifth string. So it's this kind of shape. It's kind of like an, uh, an E minor shape in traditional tuning. Um, and they moved up there. And then you're going to keep that exact same shape and slide it up to the ninth fret for the, the last chord of this um, kind of verse. So all together that would be. And that's basically the way it goes over for the both the intro and the verse. So I'll just play through the first verse for you. All the good words have left my mouth I'm completely out of things to say about it now More and more I catalog my doubts It's the worst thing about me And it's always around Plays that again Twice Then it goes into the second verse, which is the exact same thing repeated. Um, and then just as you're coming into the chorus, so... 
It hurt and you seemed to me Checked how I breathed and said I should take my life more seriously I... Then you're into a different um, shape for the chorus. Well, actually, it's the same shape as the seventh and ninth fret um, chords, only you're taking that down to the second fret, which is one of my favorite parts of the song, actually. I remember Halloween. So, um, to play that, keep that same shape down to the second fret. It's the first chord of the song. I kind of like to leave a life more seriously. Leave it hanging before you go into the chorus. Um, so life more seriously I remember Halloween I just realized that I'm singing half of this song because it's quite fun to play um, and I'm I'm not a guitar uh, I'm not an online kind of guitar teacher I do teach guitar um, in my own time but um, this is one of my first YouTube videos doing it um, so you take that shape, goes from the second fret, keeping that shape moves to the fifth fret um, for the second chord of the chorus. So it's I remember Halloween. And then you're going to the same shape that you were um, in the verse um, for the second chord. So So you're back to that, so it's I remember Halloween. I hit my head. 7th fret, ninth fret, all keeping that. So basically most of the chords for this chorus have that two finger shape. It's just moving it around between the 2nd, 5th, 7th and ninth fret. Um, so it's... I remember Halloween I hit my head on the edge of the sink Dialing out to an old me I miss my friends that I pretend I don't need But damn it, I needed them this week Back into the verse, and untrue And you might have seen that wee lick that I do there um, That's something that I noticed doing, him doing in the live performance of this So it's, uh, I tend to do it as a bit of a pull off Just kind of a, a rough thing, so it's and while you're in this shape, you hammer on from the, uh, on the fourth string, keeping your first finger. Hammer on and hammer off uh, your third finger onto the fifth fret on the fourth string. And then you slide down to the second fret on the fourth string as well. So it's... Um, sliding down to that uh, second fret and then pulling off there also. So... That's the note you should be hearing. Then just give it a second pluck on your way, so and pull off on the way back down. That might be a more advanced. Um, it's not that hard, but it might be more advanced than uh, you're used to playing. Um, so and you can just leave it out. The song's pretty fun to play without um, that little added part. Um, but give it a go. Um, maybe my explanation isn't the clearest there. Um, but uh, try it out if you can. Um, and then you're back into the uh, verse again. Um, so he plays through the second verse um, with the exact same chords that we just played um, back into the chorus. And then there's nothing new that happens um, in terms of chords or uh, chord positions um, for the rest of the song. So if you've got that, basically you've got your intro and your verse, which are the same chords. Your chorus changes. Um, keeps a, a lot of the same shapes, but there's nothing too kind of wild or wonderful in there. Um, so I hope that that's clear for people. And as I say, this is my first time actually I'm doing an online guitar tutorial for a song. Um, I kind of just learned it for, for myself um, because it's such a great track. Um, but I hope this helps some of the people in the comments um, who were looking for this uh, tutorial. And if not, please let me know. And if you want to find out more about any of the chords that I'm playing and it wasn't clear enough, please do let me know. If you found this video helpful and think that maybe I should spend a bit more time making videos like this, please let me know and like and subscribe for more kind of content. It's music related, but not exactly like the one you just watched. Thank you.